It's Saturday when you guys are seeing this. It's Friday when I'm filming it. I'm gonna edit it and then I'm gonna upload it. Some Pepperdine students have figured out how to turn time with social media into money. I was doing pre-med before, but ever since influencing started growing, I switched to advertising. Chloe Rosenbaum has gained almost 100,000 followers on Instagram as a fashion and lifestyle influencer. As personal branding has become crucial in the business world, marketing teams are hiring social media influencers like Chloe to highlight and sell their products to consumers. When there's an influencer, uh, usually defined by the number of followers, it gives you a sense of, yeah, this person is important, what they say is important, um, I want to listen to them, they are the trendsetters. These four Pepperdine students say they didn't plan on becoming influencers. But now that they are, they can charge anywhere from fifty to one thousand dollars per post, depending on the size of the company. I think I realized I could do it because I saw other girls doing it, and some of the girls who are my best friends now are people I looked up to before. Not only is influencing a way for college students to make extra cash, but new positions are opening up with social media in the title. And more companies are expecting new employees to have a social media presence. Nowadays, like it's kind of crazy how important your Instagram is. Like when you're applying for a job, they automatically look at your Instagram. Companies that have caught on to the influencing trend understand how to attract their target audience in less obvious ways than traditional advertisements. I think people seek and are attracted to fame and, and popularity in, in, in ways they maybe always have been, but now we have these other larger stages and scales that people uh, are drawn to, and uh, we all do play into it. As one can imagine, being best friends with an influencer provides an interesting perspective into the demanding world of constantly maintaining one's brand. Getting ready takes her like an hour, and then like taking the pictures takes like 20 minutes, and then she has to edit them, come up with a caption, like, it's a lot. I don't think I can do it. Although influencing is not for everyone, the marketing tactic has certainly experienced a boom in the past few years. And the more privacy there is, the more limitations and constraints there are, the less you can do with marketing and promotion, the more creative kinds of things come out of it, like influencers. It's hard to predict where social media is going next, but lucky for these four influencers, experts agree that influencing won't be going away anytime soon. I think it'll be a skill set of value that will continue to increase over time. Abby Hunt, Newswaves 32.